Hi you guys, welcome back to Briar Gaming. You join us for another Briar Rail series video and this time we're going to be looking at activating the Greenford branch on consoles. Now I know other streamers have shown you how to do this um, but since the Great Western Legends came out it doesn't work if you have that add-on installed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick check through how to re-enable them and make sure that you can actually use the Greenford branch. So what you need to do is you need to enter the journey mode of Great Western Express. You need to load either one Lima 4A or one Whiskey 41 services from chapter two of the journeys mode, which is Express Driver. You then need to quit back to the main menu, but do not go back to the root selection screen um, because it will get rid of them again. Um, you then go to explore and select timetable mode and choose the class 166 because that is what runs the Greenford branch lines. You then need to look for the services that start with a two golf prefix. These are the services that go to Greenford and you will only drive them as far as West Ealing, but it's a little bit of a change from the normal stuff. So we'll have a quick look um, and you can see what I mean and then we'll get on to the, the main aspect of this video which is to run an empty stock and then a Greenford service. So here we are, the screen, Great Western Express. As you will know, I own the Legends of Great Western Diesel Pack. Um, but if you have that installed on your console and you try to do this, it doesn't work because they fix the timetable loop. But if you uninstall it and just leave the game as is without that, in, that DLC installed, you should, in theory, see magnificent Greenford services. So we go in, Great Western Express. We go to explore quickly just so you can see um, that they're not there. So we go into the timetable, we choose the 166 um, and we'll use the 542 service. Um, as you can see there isn't a London Paddington to Greenford service there on the list. Um, nothing there. Okay, so we go back, we see there's 274 services in the timetable, that stays the same, it doesn't ping up when they get added in. But what you can do is you go back to continue journey, go Great Western Journey, Chapter 2, choose it, any one of these services to be fair, let it load in, doing its wonderful things in the background. Okay, so you can see it's loaded in. Um, we click begin. You go to main menu. Yes, I want to back out. Now if you go back to explore and see timetable, it still says 274. Um, in older versions of the game, it would then go to 339, I think it was, but it doesn't now. But if you click on it, choose the 166 go up to 5.42 in the morning they're, they're, they're scattered throughout the the day but there you go 2 Golf 02 London Paddington to Greenford that wasn't there before you'll have seen it, it wasn't there it is there now and that service is now drivable in the game from Paddington to West Ealing where then it goes off to the Greenford branch so what we're going to do is we are going to run a little service. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the empty coaching stock out of Old Oak Common. And then we're going to take the service from Paddington down to West Ealing. Um, so we're going to call it Acton, Ealing Broadway, West Ealing. Um, there are points issues um, in the yard that we do need to sort out as we are playing. Um, as we go through... Um, but yes, so sit back and enjoy, um, and I will be here doing some commentary throughout this one. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack on.
Right, so that is our train set up and ready to depart. Now we do need to be careful as we're going out here because there is some issues with some of the point work not actually correctly set for our journey. So what I am going to do now is I am just going to go into the map screen. I'm just going to zoom in and set the roads for us so that we're not making any conflicting movements out of the yard. That one. And that one. That one's okay. These two need changing. There we go. That one's all good. And that takes us through there. Otherwise the game will get really confused and throw us off somewhere we don't want to go. So we're off to Paddington and we have a 10 mile an hour speed limit in the yard at the moment and then that increases up to 15 as we get out onto the main road of the, the yard. you want to be doing stuff like that. It's going to creep along. Hopefully we will be able to get into Paddington for our right time departure. Um, there will be some time travelling involved so we're not waiting around. But as you can see we're coming out as 2 Golf 02 from Paddington to Greenford. All the road is set now, so we are comfortably all the way clear into Paddington through the routes we've set. And as you can see, I have turned the HUD pretty much off with just the speed alert warnings and the stopping distance, or stopping locations, and time. The rest is uh, all on us as the drivers. So once we go over this point work, we're then on a 15 mile an hour. And we're heading for that little white, two white lights over there at 45 degrees, which is our proceed aspect off the wash road, as they call this. across the point work, we can then increase our speed to 50. So, there we go, a little bit of throttle up the hill now as we're going up and over the bridge. Now, in real life, this old oak common isn't there anymore. It's all been knocked down and taken away um, for the building of the HS2 station. And that's now where the terminal, or where the yard was. It is now going to be a HS2 station called Old Oak, funnily enough. Right, as you can see, we're curving round now. going to go up and over, and join the roads on the other side. I'm just going to 
and throttle off as we uh, roll up the hill just to bring ourselves back to 15. going up the hill. Maybe give it another notch just to keep us going. Now the game as we head down across this bridge and then down the, the, the bank, it does report the speed as increasing to 50, but it doesn't because of the signal you get. It's no faster than 30 miles an hour. You have to obey the top speed for some reason, otherwise the game won't give you a gold medal uh, because you'll have been speeding according to it for some time, which is a little bit of an anomaly. But uh, yeah, just as a heads up for you guys and girls. All right, so we're just going to coast down the hill now. We've got a green signal with the number one route indicator at the bottom. But just keep an eye on your speed because you don't want to be going to the 50. At this board here, you want to be staying at 30. So we're now good to 30 across the junctions. We'll just give it a little bit of power just to make sure that we're not going too slow and holding all the traffic up. But we're now heading out onto the main line and the approach to London Paddington. So we are now on the, the up main line into Paddington. We can now accelerate up to 50 miles an hour because we are technically on a 50. So don't forget if you like the content that Briar Rail brings you on this channel make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends who might enjoy a little bit of Train Simulator. I do stream this from an Xbox Series X. There will be PC videos coming probably around the end of April um, and I look forward to bringing you a little bit more customised content using the PC version with all add-ons um, but yeah make sure you hit that like and subscribe button all right we're now coming up on our first restrictive aspect in to Paddington so we're going to get the AWS go off in just a moment 
to a warness of the restrictive signaling ahead. There we go. So we acknowledge that. The sunflower turns to yellow and black. We need to be doing 25 miles an hour, which we are now doing. We'll just coast into the station. Now as this is a terminal station we do need to be doing 15 miles an hour halfway down the platform you'll see another AWS ramp. Um, for some reason it's a, a ramp and not a set of TPWS grids and that is a protection against running into the buffer stops so we will just slow ourselves down now. There is the, the platform ramp. go 15 miles an hour as we head in and as per instructions we will run up to the buffer stops for all trains into Paddington as you can see there there are the grids and then there is this thing which I think is the uh, the activator Go. We have now arrived, so we'll unlock the right hand doors, get all of the systems ready for the service to go backwards. it we're all ready to go back the other way environmental thing and we've shut our engine down. Schoolboy error. So as you can see it says we have speeded a little bit there but I'm not too sure where that is because yeah anyway Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to swap ends and go back the other way. So that is going to be a move from London Paddington to Greenford. But to do that, I'm going to skip some time um, because you don't want to be sitting around waiting for me to prep a train for 20 minutes and, and everything like that. So I'm just going to jump back into the menu and skip forward so that it's the service going out of London, which is 2 Golf 02, 5.42 in the morning. Um, yes, so we'll just load that up now. Right, here we go. We are back and we are good to go. We're stopping at Acton Mainline. So, best get our wriggle on. So we've got all of our lights on. Just make sure the train lighting's on so that the 
passengers actually have some light. Yeah, a few people on it as we accelerate out of London Paddington. Yes, nice stop at Acton Mainline. Not many services do in this game. So we're going out onto road three as we head out. So it's going to be a little jink across. Right, so we have no speed board at the moment. Still heading out on number three, but we are going across here to number three. There we go. So we're nicely going over at 30 miles an hour across the junction. We're on greens as well, so isn't anything we have to really do apart from keep to the speed limit on our way out to Acton Mainline. So we're just keeping an eye out for our speed commencement board for the 50. Should be in line with the signal. Yeah, there it is. So again, once the rear of the train passes that, we can accelerate. There we go. Busy at this time of the morning, heading out of Paddington by the looks of it. Might see a fair bit of stock going the other way. Right, as we come up here now, we have a number four indicator, which means we're going across to the relief lines. will be on the 85. So our first stop is Acton Mainline. And that's two miles up the road, but we have got two yellows now. So we'll just throttle off. Let's bring our speed down to 60. for our restrictive aspects that are approaching ahead. Yeah, there we go, one yellow. Apply the brakes now. The red's just off there in the distance. So 
it looks like there is an empty stock moving off to the right which is what we're being brought to a stand for there you go you can see that that signal where that train was has gone to red so we're stopped a little bit short of that signal so we'll gently draw up to it while we await permission to proceed stand at Sierra November 163 on the down relief awaiting permission to proceed which is probably going to make us late right, so we've got a single yellow we're just going to ease the throttle in. We're not going to go herring off to the next signal because it's not very far down the road. Right, we've got two yellows, so we can accelerate a little bit more now. So we can uh, try to keep to right time. single yellow. Oh no, that's not for us. Our signal is just there. Got two yellows. See, Acton Main Line is now just in front of us. So we will start to bring our speed down for our platform approach. We want to be aiming to do 30 at the ramp. There we go, we're at 30, so we'll just come off the brakes again, reapply them. Every day we stop at this station, so still practicing our distances. Blimey, lots of people getting off. Right, off to Ealing Broadway we go. So 
whatever is ahead of us isn't moving very fast. Okay, because we don't have far to go to Ealing Broadway. signals ahead of us which is a good sign and that train that we were following has got out of the way are in. final stop will be West Ealing where we have to jump off this service as it doesn't go any further for us but it does carry on to Greenford Okay, we'll lock the doors. go too fast because we haven't got that far to go. It's only a short hop up the line. Right, we'll just coast into West Ealing then. Got a 
single yellow. So we're on three aspect signaling here. So. We must have missed the two yellows. reason we've got that restrictive aspect is we have to have a feather to go off onto the branch line here at West Ealing. We are at West Ealing, very underused station in the game. But what will happen now is the train will get a number four indicator and cross over onto the Greenford branch and head off down on its merry way. And then it comes back again in about half an hour's time. I don't know how long the branch is in real life as to whether that would be an accurate accurate uh, depiction but that signal will give it a number four and it'll go off round the corner there. But we won't be able to take it sadly. So there you go. That's a Greenford service, done and dusted. And we'll just quickly return to free roam. Because we have to alight the vehicle. So that it can carry on on its way. I'm not sure whether we have to... What you will see there is it's now got a green indicator, a green signal with a number four indicator, and it will saunter off around the curve on its way to Greenford. But yes, so just to remind you how to activate the system, to allow you to drive Greenford branch services that are removed from the console version. Enter journey mode on Great Western Express. Load either one Lima 48 or one Whiskey 41 services from chapter two of the GWE journeys. Quit back to the main menu, but do not go back to the route selection screen. Go to explore and select timetable mode and choose the class 166. Look for services that start with the two golf prefix. And these are the Greenford branch services and they work both ways. So you can take them from Paddington to West Ealing or West Ealing to Paddington. Um, they do not appear if you have the Legends of the Great Western DLC installed on your console. If you want to use these services, you do need to uninstall that um, to be able to activate them because they did fix the loophole in the timetabling. But thank you very much. On this run... It's been a pleasure to have you here, and I shall see you all soon.